is, I forgot my letters. I'm going to type out what I want on my stamp. I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to center align my text real quick. Doo -doo. Uh, I'm going to make that purple real quick and then I'm going to grab a box. And this is going to be my actual border. I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to center align those. I'm going to make my box a different color. Oops. Make sure the box is in the back. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take my box and I'm going to create a second little offset and it doesn't matter um, what that that distance is and it doesn't need to be that much we can even shrink this down to just above the corner of the stamping material all right so i'm going to apply that this outside offset we're going to make that a red because you want that to cut and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to come out here and deselect that outside border. And then I'm going to right click and make into a compound path. So what you should see is your actual stamp cut out. So what Glowforge is going to do, it's actually going to engrave what is in orange and then it's going to cut this outside red. So what we're going to do to make sure of that is we're going to grab our actual inside. Um, and I'm going to change my inside to blue. I'm going to take off my color so we can see the cut lines. So what this should look like is your engrave is in blue and then it's going to go and cut the outside um, also note because this is stamp material unless you have premium we need to flip this so it's actually going to engrave from the underside and then you'll come up here save as to hard drive and then um, I'm just naming this stamp test and then I always save you know to my glowforge ready to cut files and then don't forget to save this as an SVG and then you'll hit okay